Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, and I know it's been a week again since I posted, I am really sorry. Uh, like I said in the last video, most of my stuff at the minute is on Instagram, uh, but I am trying to post on here as much as possible. Um, just a few things before we start, please ignore the fact that right now I have only half eyebrows, and um, if you can hear that, I'm not, sure you can, I'm not sure if it's picking up, it probably is, but if there's a noise in the background, it is a fan, because even though this is a very rarity for England, we seem to have a billion degree heat right now, and I can't cope. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, forget about all that. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the MAC Studio Fix Foundation, um, which I've never used before. It's um, it's only a little sample pot which I got the other day. Um, now, <laughs> when I went in, she put this on a little bit on, um, and in the room it's quite dark, so it looked okay. And then when I went outside, it looks kind of yellowy, orangey, horrible. Blah. So I'm gonna try and see. I'm not just gonna work off the colour, I'm gonna see if it is a good foundation as well, but this may be addressed the wrong and I may end up yellow. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just get on with it. <laughs> We're going to try out the Max Studio Fix Foundation. This is in shade NW20. Um, I'm going to do my normal thing, which is with a silver sponge to see if this works, and if it doesn't, then we'll try other things. Um, let's just see what this is like. So, it's not giving me a hell of a lot, but let's just see if it works around my hot face. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get a bit on my finger and just dot it around first. Um, it's looking a bit dark <laughs> already. <laughs> um, okay, so as you can see, I'm going quite yellow already. Um, this isn't the best thing for using on this foundation, it doesn't seem to work that well. But I'm gonna just try anyway. Uh, okay, fuck this, we're gonna go in with a beauty blender because the silly sponge just doesn't work with this foundation whatsoever. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so now that's all blended in and you realise that you're now the colour of a fucking lumpa lumpa. Um, you've got two options, you can even try and, you can either try and fix it or you can cry about it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try the first one. Jesus Christ. Um, the one thing I will say is it's not as full coverage as I wanted it and um, I mean I could build it up but I'm not even going to attempt to build it onto this. Um, because I'm orange enough as it is, this is ridiculous. People really need to learn the, t the thing about undertones because this is awful. I am very, very, I have a very, very pink undertone to my skin and this is obviously not. <laughs> this is a more of a yellow undertone which has just turned me completely fucking orange. I'm hoping to God this shit doesn't oxidise because then I will turn into a tangerine. Um, Jesus Christ. In fact, I might actually do a video on undertones just so people actually understand because not a lot of people seem to understand about undertones. I don't know why, but they don't. Um, so, 
If you want to see that, let me know in the description below. below. But right now, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to try and fix my face. Um, and I'll come back and show you the results. And hopefully, I won't look like this <laughs> any longer. All right, guys, so I've done my entire face. I've tried and tried to fix this fucking, ugh. Um, it's a little less orange because there's a shit ton of concealer on it. Very, very light concealer, but it's horrible. You can see it's horrible. It's a complete wrong shade. She didn't have a fucking clue what she was doing when she was trying to match my skin, obviously. But then again, like I say, the building's really dark. It is one of the most stupid places to have a matte counter, you know what I mean? It's fucking ridiculous. Um, I may try another shade of theirs, um, but this one really didn't work. Um, it has gone patchy as well, but that I don't know if that's the foundation or it might partly be my skin because of how dry my skin is at the minute because it's fucking stupid. Um, but the colour's wrong, it's not as full coverage as I would have thought, it's totally not worth the price, I think it was 24 quid um, for the full bottle, I'm so glad I only got a sample because I will not be buying this shade, um, in fact I don't even think I'm going to buy it MAC ever, um, I'm not this anyway because it's disgusting, um, like I say, I might try some more shades, let me know what you think in the description. Uh, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments even, the description one, I'm about, sorry, um, I see the orange has gone to my brain. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think of this or if, recommend, if you can recommend any other shades. Um, I'm also, uh, next week I'm going to try out the, or sometime in the next couple of days, maybe next week, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try out the uh, Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Um, which I do have a sample of already. I was going to do that today, but then I thought, now I'll do the MAC one first. Uh, but I'm going to do the Cap on D, and then um, I do, even though I've tried it on before, I am going to try on, again, the Urban Decay foundation, just to show you what it is like, because I, I spoke about it before and told you what I thought about it, but you've never, you've never seen it on my face. Um, I know there's a hundred million different demos out there, but I'll just do one anyway, to see what it's like with my skin, because, Spoiler alert, it's really fucking bad. Um, and I wouldn't recommend anybody buying it ever. Um, especially if you have dry skin. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me this week. Let me know what you think of this look. Um, like I say, any recommendations for foundation, put in the thing below because I'm going to try out loads and loads of different ones over the next coming weeks. Um, so that you can think of, let me know. Uh, bear in mind, um, I am in the UK, so I can't get some of the brands that uh, I see on a lot of my Facebook groups and all the rest of it. So if you are from there, please, I can't get the one that you said. I am sorry, but there are a lot that you can get in other countries that you can't get here because it's shit. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'll see you again in a couple of days, maybe next week. I don't have a clue when it will be uh, with another video. Um, I'm going to try and do something else and then do another foundation one. I don't know what will be next, but we'll figure something out. Um, as always, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you didn't. Um, subscribe. Share this on all social media. Get your friends to subscribe. Excuse me. Um, and all the rest of it, because when we, when we hit my next subscriber goal, we are going to be doing another giveaway. Um, so let's see if we can get them up. Um, so yeah, that is it for me this week. Okay, bye.